watching the eclipse, finding unique ways to participate in this historic event. Local 3's Jemiah Beatty highlights some of the special moments. As the sky darkened when the moon passed between the Earth and the sun, many couldn't believe their eyes. This was the second solar eclipse in the Chattanooga area, and many couldn't wait to experience it with loved ones. We're hoping to get home and watch the eclipse. We've got glasses. We're prepared. We're ready. An excited crowd came out to Coolidge Park to gaze above. I have the Baylor lacrosse team right here, right now. Addie and her younger sister Piper described the show from the sky. It was cool. It was like the sun was kind of disappearing in little circles, kind of looking like uh, just getting a, into a smaller crescent as it as the moon goes. Yeah. This video shows an eerie scene of the eclipse from Elder Mountain. As the clouds floated by, the astronomical event became an educational opportunity for many. You know how the path of totality is really small? Well, oh, like every like the cities that are getting a total solar eclipse, which is supposed to be like that life changing one, are only going to get it every 375 years. It With the solar eclipse darkening many places, experts observed unusual behaviors in the animals. I think everybody was being sort of quiet and listening for those things. Uh, there wasn't much conversation, but everybody remarked that during that darkest period in downtown Chattanooga, you could hear the insects calling. In other places, some professed their love while others wished upon the moon and stars. Perhaps their luck will last for the next 20 years. I'm Jeremiah Beatty, Local 3 News.